Yo, what's up, guys? I'm coming at you with my first Nerf video. Um, it's gonna be lit. It's fire, and um, I got a pretty cool gun. Um, not as far as I thought it was gonna shoot, but it's actually really accurate. It's an accurate accu strike. Sorry, but um, let's see if you can guess what it is. All right, comment down. You have five seconds to guess which Aki Strike gun it is. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you don't, if if you didn't guess it, then uh, well that sucks. But here's the gun. It's the Aki Strike Raptor Strike. Oh, I'll do a following video with that next video. But um, here she is. Um, she's actually a very good gun. It's obviously a sniper. It can't even fit my camera. And here. And it has um it has the six dart magazine in the stock. We'll just it's actually really big. Um this is like a site. I, I'm surprised there's no tactical rails, except for the bipod, which the, the bipod actually has three modes as low. Maddie, I'm, I'm making a video. All right, it has low, it has like a medium-ish. Can I show you? What? No, I put in the, it has medium. I'm talking, this gun's too big, I can't even fit. Um, and then it has the super tall mode, which I don't know what it's for. Very tall, like, very, very. Make sure it clicks. Nice. Um, right, this is so big, I don't know how to fit it. Let me take off the bipod for a second. Stinker. Or I'll just make it tiny. Alright, so, looking at this gun, this stock's really nice. As I already mentioned earlier, it holds the magazine, has a nice cheek rest comfortable and it's big enough then down at like the handle area of grip this is actually rubbery here it's very grippy and then it has a handguard for when you want to melee like kids which I don't recommend because that will hurt um looking here this actually does not come with this you actually um you have to like tighten it I don't I don't think it, it's not untightening I don't know why here I'll untighten it for you and then turn it later all right here we go so in the package you're gonna get this little piece and then you have this long piece I recommend um this so if you're left-handed, like I am, if you're shooting with this, I think you want to reload with your right hand. So I recommend them putting the like stronger piece on the right side, because then you can just do like, ch -ch -ch -ch. and then you just easily screw this on. Um, this is very easy to assemble. All you have to do is there's a little hole right here. Stick it in. And then, then you just screw it on. That's tight. Then we can't do more. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to I'm going to up here. There's, um, it says, nice little advertising. It's Raptor Strike. And then it has this nice hand grip. I use it to carry around. Um, I hold it like 
this. Uh, a few things I want to point out is um, if you don't like using this, you can easily just press a button. This thing flips up. For me, it's broke off a lot of times. Um, it doesn't really do anything. It's not like magnifying or anything, but it's just cool. I need to clean one because I got my fingerprints all over it. Another thing you'll notice when you'll get this is um, actually let me just show you. This isn't what I was talking about, but right here we have an unjam. Er, and then yeah. But another thing you'll notice is the bullet. All right, so we're I guess like I'll call it the chamber. I don't know. It's like it stops right here, and then you have this huge barrel. And what I've noticed is like if you shoot it and like accidentally move the barrel fast, it will hit the dart and it will like wiggle around and stuff. And yeah. But overall it's an amazing gun. Um don't really shoot very far, but it's actually pretty accurate. Um I might like aim like a little bit over if your opponent's like 15 or feet over, I would like aim a little above because there is a little bullet trap and um I'll show you one second. Be testing it out, so since it's dark out, I'm just gonna use my sister's whiteboard as a um, like I'm gonna use this. It's like what 15 feet away as um the target so i'll show you a few ways i'll show you by just holding this i'll show you by using the bipod i'll show you by medium and large okay so here we go here's my first shot i am holding it without the bipod hit it boom so it's a good all right, now I'm gonna use the bipod. <clears throat> See if this bipod <laughs> helps out a little. Uh, it's not tall enough. Uh, technical difficulties. Sorry. All right, the low really doesn't work that well, unless if like you have high grip. All right, here we go. So. I'm on medium right now. Oh gosh, man. Oh, for some reason it's on high. Who cares? Okay, whatever. All right, let's go. Nice. Let's just shoot it up. So that's one thing I didn't mention yet. It's like every other Nerf gun, pull it back, but instead of like just grabbing it right away, there's a button right here. Pull it out, throw this away. Not really, but throw it somewhere. Get your second magazine in. Continue your nerf battle war, whatever. I'm having troubles with this bipod. Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. my last bullet. Oh. All right. So that is the Nerf AccuStrike Raptor Strike. I'm going to get a good angle of this. And actually, I think the gun looks very nice without the bipod. Kind of looks like a hunting rifle. You know? I mean, obviously, 
it's a great gun, but obviously it doesn't compare to the Nerf long shot. But if you're just looking for a sniper, it's like 40, 50 ish. But Walmart had it on sale for 20. A lot of places have it on sale. They might price drop by the time I'm done this video. Very nice gun. The only thing that I don't like about it is no tactical round. I mean, Nerf, what are you thinking? Or, I mean, yeah, so. I just like shooting it. It's a very nice gun. That was my first review. I'll see you in the next video when we go over the Nerf Rival. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Heracles. And yeah, see you then. Poop, 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 peace.